When deciding which approach to take to protect the world's wheat crop from a devastating fungus, UG99, the wheat breeders involved in the Durable Rust Resistance in Wheat Project had to make some tough choices and consider trade-offs. To take a GM approach or to use more conventional means of breeding for resistance. Ultimately, they chose the tool that they thought would help them achieve their goal to get new, durably resistant seed into the hands of farmers in the span of their eight-year project. Let's hear from project director Ronnie Kaufman which path they ultimately chose. When we looked at the GM approach, it was really a, a very challenging thing. We had the technology, we knew it could be effective, but we were uncertain due to the regulatory challenges how long it might take to deliver uh, technology to farmers. So we opted for the conventional approach with the known outcome and the ability to deliver to farmers in, in a reasonable period of time. The Durable Rust Resistance in Wheat Project's efforts to protect the world's wheat from UG99 provides us an example of when breeders have to choose the right tool for a given situation. In this case, after weighing their options, breeders chose a conventional breeding approach and they were successful in delivering new varieties to farmers, mitigating the threat of this fungal disease. The Durable Rust Resistance in Wheat Project has seen great progress in reducing the world's vulnerability to wheat stem rust. More than 40 plant genes have been identified as sources of resistance to the family of UG99 stem rust. And more than 63 varieties of wheat resistant to stem rust have been developed by the project scientists and released since the project began in 2008 and more than 38,000 tons of rust-resistant wheat seed have been made available for planting in 10 of the most at-risk countries. So what can we learn from this case? Genetic modification through genetic engineering is a tool in the toolbox, and it may not be the best tool in every situation. Plant breeders need access to choose the tools most appropriate to address any given challenge.